everyone, my name is Renee Daniela. I am the lifestyle, fashion and travel writer behind FemeByFem.com. Thank you all so much for tuning into my video today. I'm super excited because I'm currently filming in the beautiful island of St. Bart's and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I use my Bumble and Bumble products to style my hair and get big voluminous curls, even with the humidity and the heat. So stay tuned! <laughs> Oh hi BB Curl Sulfate Free Shampoo. I really love this one because in addition to being sulfate free, it's also paraben and alcohol free, basically meaning it's not going to dry out your curls. And everyone definitely knows how to shampoo, but a few of my tips. Start at the roots and work your way down. Really, really massage your scalp, you know, get that circulation going. And try rinsing with lukewarm water every once in a while. It may not be as pleasant, but it'll definitely give you some extra shine. So what's really cool about the BB Curl Conditioner is that it's actually formulated for multiple uses. So you can leave it in, or you can wash it out, or you can use it as a co-wash. I actually like to use it when I'm detangling, because it allows the brush on my fingers to move through my hair so much easier. Just rinse it out with cool water when you're done. Now to introduce the heroes of my heat and humidity proof hair routine. First of my styling process is a primer. I would normally use the BB Curl Primer, which is on the right, and it has UV protection in it, it's great, but with summer temperatures being so high, I went for the added combo of UV and heat protection, found in the primer from the hairdresser's line. And now we have this cute little thing, which is actually an Allure Magazine Best in Beauty winner, and I literally use about five drops, I apply it all over my hair, and again, it's for heat protection, UVA and UVB protection as well. Ooh, and from one of my favorite products in the line, this BB Curl Defining Cream is incredible. So it goes on super smooth. I like to apply it with my fingers first and anywhere where you might find you've got too much product, I like to then go through with a brush and that just gives you more even distribution. A good way to get out of definition is to scrunch up your curls after you've applied the product and that kind of just encourages the curls to kind of wrinkle it back up. Ah, so this is a product that I am confident when you try, you will never want to live without it again. It's the BB Curl Anti-Humidity Gel Oil. A little bit of this product goes a long way. I only apply it around my face as that's where I really want the definition and I want to fight any effects of humidity but I don't apply it on the back of my hair because I don't want it to weigh it down. And again, for even distribution and for more definition, I take my brush and I run it through my ends one more time. Then it's one final scrunch and you just leave your curls to sit for about 20 minutes. Voila! After 20 minutes you will definitely notice your curls have had a chance to spring back to their natural shape. They've absorbed all the product and you're pretty much ready to diffuse and then style. So my favourite technique when I'm diffusing is that I focus on my roots. This definitely allows the hair to lift from your scalp so you have a lot more height and a lot more volume. So the last step to this process, which I know you've been waiting to finish, is a simple hair fluff with a pick. I like to focus on my roots and just don't mess around with your ends, that way you can prevent any frizz. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thank you so much for watching. And definitely, any time that you're out in the sun, protect your hair from the heat and from the UV rays. Stay tuned on my channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.